If you've never used acrylic paints before, then this is the lesson for you. This is a really basic tutorial. I'm going to paint this very, very simple seascape with a very limited amount of supplies just to show you the sort of basic techniques and the basic materials that you need to get you started in your acrylic painting journey. So shall we get started? Using a canvas board that I previously used before, so I'm doing a bit of upcycling, but you can use acrylic paper or a box canvas, anything you like really. And really with acrylics, you can just use some acrylic primer or even white matte emulsion to paint over a surface and then get started with your acrylic. So it's really accessible. I'm just starting out with one brush. It's a synthetic flat brush, three quarters inch. So you can get lots of great marks and cover lots of areas with this little brush here. So you don't need to go out and buy the most expensive brushes. I'm making a stay wet palette. That's to stop the acrylic paints from drying out. So I've got a plastic box, some paper towel that I've wet there you saw, and some parchment paper or baking sheet paper, putting it over the top. And it's a process called osmosis and it will stop the acrylic paints from drying out. I've squeezed out some white, cerulean, cyan blue and black. So I've really kept the, the sort of colours to a real minimum. And I'm using the flat brush now to paint a horizon line. Really simple seascape scene this. Um, sort of just above halfway. And just to say all the materials that I, I'm going to be using in this tutorial, you can find in the description below with colour alternatives. So I'm actually mixing now the cerulean with the white and I'm painting a sky and I'm blending. I'm making sure I've got plenty of paint on my brush and I'm really sort of loading it and blending on the sky area. The bigger the area, the bigger the brush. So if you're starting out in acrylics, you might want to start off on a smaller scale and see how you go. Acrylic paints dry quite quickly. So you want to, that's why you are using a Stay Wet palette and you really want to load your brush so it gives you time to blend, especially large areas like the sky. What I'm doing now is I'm adding a little bit more white paint on the horizon. I've really got lots of white there so I can really blend this colour so everything is still shiny and wet. If you find your acrylics are getting a bit sticky and almost you're working against it, stop, blow dry it or let it dry naturally and then paint again because what happens is the paint starts to break up and crumble almost because it needs to dry in between stages. I'm using a little bit of this cyan blue now and some black, mixing them together with a flat brush and I'm going to paint the sea. In acrylic painting, like oil painting, you work dark to light. So I'm working on with my darkest colours first of all. In between stages, you might want to rinse your brush. I would recommend really rinsing your brush and making sure the hairs of the brush um, sort of sort of touch the bottom of the glass jar or whatever you're using to hold the water. So you can really get rid of the acrylics off the brush before you um, start mixing another colour otherwise the brush tends to hold on to the acrylics. So really sort of blend this C here now. Well what's supposed to be the C? I'm really loading my brush and I'm blending and you can see there's a sheen on the paint there so it's safe for me to dry but always really load your brush. Be generous with the paint and it's much more fun to do as well and as because I'm painting a seascape here and I'm coming into the foreground my tone values will be darker and stronger and my mark making will be bigger so the marks in the distance will be smaller and the tonal value a bit lighter to create perspective to create depth basically on a 2d surface we're creating a 3d image and illusion so I'm adding a bit of white now with the cerulean and I'm painting that lighter colour in the distant sea there. A little bit more white, it didn't really register that much. So I'm just going on again and blending with this flat three quarter inch brush. I'm now getting a little bit more of the cyan blue and painting that down in the foreground as well. 
The painting is still wet and I'm just painting now white paint to create some white horses, some big waves. And as I get into the foreground area, I'll make them even bigger. And I'm blending with my fingertips as well. I love to do this. Um, but if you don't like blending with your fingertips, you can just carry on using the brush as well. But it's just to create an impression and an illusion of white waves there. So while the paint's still got a sheen, it's not resisting me. I can blend here these light colours. Remember, in acrylics, we work dark to light. So I'm, I'm just sort of mixing up the black and the cyan blue. And I'm just really blending this foreground area here. I can always add more light later once the painting has dried. So I've actually blow dried my painting dry, I've rinsed my brush and I'm taking off all the excess water with a paper towel because sometimes that water can dilute the acrylic paint. And I'm just going to paint some land in the distance now using some black and cyan. So I'm really keeping the colour palette nice and simple and using the tip of my brush to describe and paint this distant headland. So I'm just painting a little bit more light in the sea, especially in the foreground, to bring it forward a little bit and to create that depth that I was talking about earlier. And I'm just brushing on the white here in the foreground here with my flat three quarter inch brush, really loading that white and to create the waves, the look of waves in the foreground. I'm just using a little bit of white here on the horizon and blending with my fingers just to make sure that, that, that I'm creating distance here. I thought it'd be quite nice to paint in some clouds. I'm using my fingertips again because I quite like doing it. But if you're not comfortable, as I said earlier, you can use a brush. But it's just to blend in this white paint into the dry surface. You can really get a nice effect there, creating and painting these cumulus clouds. I'm just finishing off now using the flat brush and just putting a few highlights in the water just with white paint wet on dry. I always finish off in acrylic paints with lights and details. If you don't like something, wet it and just lift it off, which is what I've just done here. So that's a good little tip there. Here is the finished painting. It's really, really nice and simple. And I hope it inspires you to get your acrylics out and have a go. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll get updates of my latest tutorials. If you have any comments, please put them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.